hey y'all welcome back to another video please remember to like and if you're new here subscribe now it looks like damari may be missing lena he posted and deleted a tiktok with pictures and videos of him and lena it also said show one friend you miss but lost he also had in the caption i'ma get her back one day and so some people decided to leave their opinion people were saying things like friend y'all lay in bed half naked with y'all male friends okay and y'all know they always have claimed that they're just friends someone also said dang she got him crashing out for that kitty and he crashing out and so i do want to know what y'all think when it comes on to this and y'all know a while back he had went off on her on twitter and he was being mad disrespectful calling her all type of names however i do want to hear her views down in the comment section below now i do want to move on to this next topic with BJ and Ned. Now, if you have been keeping up with my videos, I had reported that they both had made posts and it seems something was going on with them. However, after a day, BJ had posted with Ned. And so it seems they're back on good terms. She also is currently in Atlanta as she went to see him, as they were even on live together. Let me hit that mouth one time. No, open it. My teeth. So? Yeah. Mine's too. <laughs> you get you get to see that much, okay, let me see. Yeah, they... I get your tears when they drop off. Babe, babe. Yeah, One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. I'm missing my drink. Is it? And so, y'all, I do want to hear reviews when it comes on to that down in the comment section below. No, there has been a lot going on with Corey and Carmen. Now, Karen dropped her new song, sharing her story and what she went through while being with Corey. Now, the title of the song states, You make Diddy look like an angel. And so it has been going viral on TikTok as a lot of people have been voicing their opinion and are happy that Carmen finally decided to speak out. However, it seems Corey wasn't too happy about Carmen dropping her song as he stated that she's lying. He also was on live while at the hospital in which he stated that he'll be taking her to court. Because I'm going to court. It's time to go to court. And when I go to court, I'm going to fight so hard this time. Because like, since you want to fight on the internet to get people approval for sympathy, I'm going to fight in court where I'm going to get the real rights. I'm going to win for real, in real life. Yeah. Let's take it that far. Let's see it. We, we, we go vlog the whole court situation. Y'all go see it. So let's go on ahead and get ready to rock and roll. I'm going to let them go ahead and keep. I'm, I'm going to sit back and watch them do what they're doing. You feel me? And we go, we go, we go have a little fun. Let the little drill ride. I want y'all to have fun with the assumptions that they putting out there. Corey will come and drop proof. You know what I'm saying? You can show proof. The only thing you can show, you want to show proof for you looking like you got beat up. But you, you want to fight. You want to be a whore. You want to be abusive. She abusive as shit. No, Corey also decided to post Carmen on his Snapchat in which she was naked. He had in the caption, I had sex with your best friend. Since she want to lie, let me just drop receipts. And so this was very low of him. Over, I do want to hear your opinion down in the comment section below. I do also want to touch on this next topic with Benet and TJ. Now, previously, I reported that Benet had posted that she tried everything to make TJ look good. However, it seems TJ has not changed from his ways. And so Benet had said not to attach her name to TJ's. Now, her and Madge were on TikTok Live, in which it seems she's not quite done with TJ. And maybe they'll be back in the future if he works on himself. Um and uh TJ are you know he's showing up. It, it would be a pleasure if you could uh so that we can just file your divorce papers <laughs> and see how everything goes. And um you know Oh my Lanta. This will be something new in Messy Mod divorce camp. What's going on? So basically we would need to see uh is there a real reason why you two are getting divorced? Cause um right now is just giving toxic love, and um mm -hmm. we need to see what's going on and how can we fix things moving on the future with you and TJ, and um 
you know, just see what's going on because it's 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 giving that uh, he misses you and you misses him. Why why you say that? Um, because when do you ever leave each other permanently? <laughs> Wrong part, what, 6,342? No. Okay. No, this is part, this is part one. No. If you think this is part one, you done lost. Do you have dementia? I do have short-term memory loss. Okay, let me write this down in my books and notes real quick so that we can take note to this. First to each other. But listen, that can't happen. But you got a protective custody order or something? I, like... I have a restraining order out, um, so it's like I can't see him face to face or like on either social media platforms. No, I'm not with Louie. No, TJ. No. Why would y'all think that? Where are you? I'm at home. Indiana? Indiana. Indianapolis? Indianapolis, Indiana. Oh, okay, so she's okay, she's not lying. Thank you. I wouldn't lie to y'all. At all. Well, not now. Okay. Yeah, fix the fix what you back then, yeah. But oh, now yeah. no. Yeah, right. Yeah. I changed my ways. I'm not a liar. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So are you gonna be back with TJ? Mm-hmm. Are you gonna be back with TJ? I can't answer that right now because it's new, but like, I don't know. Maybe, maybe in the future, who knows what the future holds. If stuff get right, if people get their act together and vice versa, who knows? Wait a second. TJ said earlier about you could have been on your flight to get down here and you could have been here. And when he said here, it gave very much sarcasm as if you were there and things like that. What was that about? Do you know anything about that? No, I don't know nothing about that. So was he supposed to book you a flight? Oh, I don't know nothing about that. Why did TJ say you was there? Who said I was there? TJ just texted me and said you're actually here. Let me see the text. Why you gotta see the text? Because you're lying. You tried to pull that little fast one that you did on me with that Brooklyn situation where I left, lying and saying that she was in the comments, saying that she was gonna say so. You can't pull that on me, sir. Uh-uh. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, you ain't that. I'm not gonna lie, you ain't that. All right, you got me. You got me. I tried, I to, got you. Uh, I tried to trick you, but you got me with that one. Okay. So we're just okay. going to wait until tomorrow. Everything. I'm not gonna say everything is gonna get put on the floor because everything shouldn't be on social media, but the parts that should could just depending on what type of timing he's on. You know what I'm saying? Just to better yourselves. Mm-hmm. Now I do want to know what y'all think when it comes on to this and everything else said in this video down in the comment section below. Please also leave a like, subscribe, and turn on your post notification bell so that whenever I upload you are notified.